Well, welcome back to Anderson's Holy TV. Smoke. Hope you're having Hello. a great day. Uh, today shall be known as Epiphony Day. Um, <laughs> because there Epiphony. are things to tell you. Because they're not a Gibson, but almost. Well, what do you say? Is that what they say? That's not much of a tagline, that one, is it? Almost a Gibson. <laughs> but not <laughs> exactly. Not <laughs> There's an yes, there you go, Mark Agnese. There's your next marketing line for yeah. Epiphone. No. We're, that's not fair. Epiphone's amazing. Amazing. Uh, some of the best value guitars that you can buy. Uh, and today we have, we're predominantly telling you about this because this is brand new, just been announced today. Uh, yes, it's, I hear you all saying it's another Joe Bonham has an <laughs> Epiphone, but you guys keep buying them, right? They're just so yeah. insanely popular. He keeps knocking them and out of the park and you keep buying them. Let's be fair. This is the problem is Joe Bonamassa has just got so many amazing guitars in his collection. Um, why wouldn't exactly. you, you know, I'm sure that the minds at Epiphone and Gibson go through it and go, oh my God, you got one of those, you got one of those, yeah, we yeah. should reissue yeah. that and reissue yeah. that. So that's what they do. Absolutely. Anyway, before we get into this video, right, yeah. a bit of housekeeping. Housekeeping again, housekeeping. I know, I, I don't like that word housekeeping, but it's what all the no, YouTubers my, your seem mom to works say. Here, so, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as you know, we like to give out prizes for hitting certain subscribers. It's got one of your pubic hairs on it, Pete. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when we get to 800,000 subscribers, which should be any day now, we're giving away these two pedals. These are the Victory V1 uh, pedals. You can have a Sheriff and a Kraken. That's 400 pounds worth of pedals there. That's a good prize. Um, prize. And all that's going to happen, whether you were the first subscriber or the last subscriber, you've got the same chance of winning we're just going to pick one at random yeah. and send those pedals to you anywhere in the world you can enter from but you have to subscribe and you can't be a bot um, can't be a what a bot a bot absolutely not and then we'll do another prize draw at 850 and another one at 900 and so on and so forth till we get to a million and that's when we give the actual clon yeah. centaur away yeah um yeah. please yes if you're bored 
already in this video. Check the timestamps Just below. like us. <laughs> Maybe you might want to you know, be some playing on this guitar, this oh. guitar, and, and this guitar as well. Um, and yes, if you fancy buying a t-shirt or a hoodie or a sweatshirt or something, again, please check the description below where you can find out about those. So, Mr. Pete, yes, would you like me. to tell me about I, this guitar? So, I mean, this can be a bit confusing because this is a maestro, but it's a maestro vibrola. I'm confused. I thought vibrola was the one where yeah. the arm went up and down. But it does uh, go up and down, but it also goes... Yeah, and Maestro was the one where it went in and out. Yeah, but exactly. And, and This one goes up and down and in and, and, in and out, out. hence and the fact it's a Maestro vibrola. And this bit here, oh, see that? It looks like a massive coke nail from the 1980s or something, <laughs> like, like the head on the finger. That's what I always wow. thought about. Do you know I what I mean, thinking, no? I was thinking it was more like a walrus tooth. I've walrus never seen a walrus tooth. tooth. I thought it were really long like that. That's um, a baby walrus tooth. <laughs> Let me tell you about this guitar, Pete. I'm gonna I'm rescuing the situation. Yeah, rescue away. So Joe Bonamassa, who hasn't heard of Joe Bonamassa? With the he's, biggest collection of coolest oh. guitars ever. So I get the Gibson he's just goes probably to him. the he is probably the kind of iconic blues rock guitar player of the 21st century. Um anyway, there's some history behind this. So okay. back in 1996, he purchased an original Gibson 1962-335 and used it on his first solo album, A New Day Yesterday, which is a great album. It is a good you album. You should go and listen to that. Yeah. Um, he then, and this is life of, a, of, a, of an up and coming guitar player, right? He then had to sell it so that okay. he could, what did he have to sell it for? To fund his move from New York to LA. How cool is that? Well, not how cool is that, how sad is that, but how real is that? That right? is real. That's how We're, we do the, with guitars. The, the fight it? is real. Yeah. Um, and then 20 years later, a strange twist of fate, an unexpected phone call, heavy breathing and everything, uh, <laughs> and uh, blah, 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 blah. Basically, daughter. the guitar came back into his life. He was able to, to buy it back. Awesome. Um, and this is a tribute to that guitar. So the basic features on this Epiphone, and I'll, I'll read them out to you. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice so five-ply layered maple um, body. Yeah, yeah. Uh, norm, same as a Gibson would be. Yes. Uh, mahogany neck, rounded C uh, profile. Yeah, it's a nice book. Again, I can give you the nut width if you want it, 1.69 inches, but stuff like that, go and read it on the website. Yeah. Um, block inlays, which are cool. Uh, the I Epiphone the Tone Lock Tunematic Bridge with, as Pete said, a somewhat confusing Maestro Vibrola two-in-one tailpiece. Yeah. Um, I love it. This is cool, though, right? Actual Gibson Burst Bucker pickups on it. So Burst yeah. Bucker 2 in the neck, Burst Bucker 3 in the yep. bridge. All the goodness coming in here with CTS pots, uh, Mallory capacitors. Mallory! Wasn't Mallory... <laughs> isn't he in James Bond? Isn't, isn't he, isn't he one of them? Isn't he... Two very boring minutes later. So there you go. Oh, um, it's, it's even got James Bond, like in the switching cavity. Comes with a really nice case, which we should have brought up from downstairs. But yeah. we'll, we'll do a sweep and put it on screen yeah. now. Uh, and has an extraordinarily long uh, code, which you know, like puts Ibanez to shame with a code like that, doesn't wow, it? Wow, that is wow. a very long code. But so uh, it's limited do. edition. Oh, is it? Is it? Is um, it's it? limited edition. Andertons have had one delivery of these, and then we won't get any more, which is a bit sad. So really? We've got quite a few to sell, but uh, you know, so it'll be limited to like a thousand or something like that. I don't know the oh, exact okay. quantity, but you know, limited nonetheless. Um, when you think that the average Joe Bonamassa gig has probably got four thousand people at it, it's pretty limited, right? So, that is pretty. Uh, you know what I think we should do? I think we should do some Murphy, Murphy Lab versions of these. Murphy but Lab versions of Gibson 335s with the Maestro Vibrola on it. <sighs> Only one colour. But anyway, Pete's going to give you some tones. I think that would be a great idea. Uh, by the way, coming up later in this video, we'll, be, uh, we'll also be talking about Tony Iommi's new Monkey SG um, from Epiphone. And also a reminder that our limited edition Lemon Burst 59 Les Pauls are soon coming back into stock. So here we are. No pedals on. Into DP40 for Victory Clean Sound. Hello. That's the, uh, Why the, have that's pedals the, like, when the guitar sounds so good without well, them? I just, it won't need to be louder, doesn't it? That's the thing. A little bit. Yeah. Here's the middle position.
I think it plays really nicely, this guitar. Sorry, I'm just That's asking fine. our purchasing team how much these are. How much That's is a very good idea, because uh, I want to know them, in fact. I think these are really, really good. The, the, the neck is, as you say, like a C shape, so, and the, it just feels really nice. Uh, the frets are nice, and the fretboards are nice, and... Can I say nice many more times? Say What's your favorite French city on the Mediterranean coast? Nice. <laughs> it's Nils. 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 It's a bridge. Just nice. <laughs> Which team came seventh in uh, <laughs> La Liga last year? Nice. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, here's, a, here's a deco. On the neck. What's nice? Drive, that? Is that the de just the deco, deco? Just the deco. So that's just, nothing if, else. If you guys aren't familiar, that's emulating the sort of the the, the preamp stage of an old tape machine yeah. into a valve amp, which is again how a lot of those you know '60s kind of uh, sounds were fattened up. I'm but but Double tracker. Oh. I mean, it sounded great, and in the intro, I used this silk tone oh, fuzz. The, with the fuzz on it, it sounded with good the fuzz, too. So. And it's these kind of... With the deco. I can't do those uh, Bonamassa riffs. Oh, there's but, uh, some big riffs. He's got all Very these... Uh, Eric Johnson inspired. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about teach the me, Joe. Teach me, Joe. Let's talk about the trem system. Yes. Because normally speaking, on a on a three three five, you'd probably be uh, more familiar with seeing a Bigsby on them. Your three three five's got like a Duesenberg version yeah. of a Bigsby. Yeah. But I always feel that the the vibe uh, Maestro is much stiffer, different sort of vibe and feel to a Bigsby. I I was just saying earlier that I think this on a more affordable version of a guitar, I think this is more stable tuning-wise because it's less, there's less going on yeah. here where, you, you know, on the Bixby, you've got the thing and the thing and the round thing. This just goes through and in here. This, the, 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 it's the, made quite really simple. Me mechanically, it couldn't be any simpler. No, I don't know if it's we can zoom in on, on that bit. bit of metal. It's a bent bit of metal. <laughs> you know, a Danish name, uh, bent is a Danish name. For what? Bent. As in your, like As you could, you be, could, Pete you could be called or John, yeah, or, or Bent. Bent, yeah, exactly. B E N T. Uh, you know, there's a footballer called Darren Bent. So what you're saying is, if he was Danish, he'd just have two first. He could names, be Bent, Bent, couldn't he? Could be Bent, Bent. <laughs> That's uh, quite funny. Um, but yeah, so I really like these, not just because of the this kind of long nail here, but it feels really nice in the hand. Where we so it's a more compression. In. Smooth, isn't it? It doesn't have a lot of play, though, does it? I mean, it's well, not like a no. But that's a, what you want. You don't want all of that yeah. play. You want it to be exact and precise. Yeah. From when you touch it, just a little bit. Like ooh ah, just a little bit. Ooh ah, a little bit, a little bit more. It's, it's quite awkward to kind of get wow. get a hold of it, but What's I think that? it's Come a... on. Was there, so, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Was there a Steps reference in an Anderson's video? Wow.
I don't even know if it was that step. I'm not saying anything, ooh, but here's uh, just a little, little bit, bit ooh, uh, a little, little bit, bit more. Here's a wow. little bit of gain from the day, just a little <laughs> with a bit of flint tremolo. So how much is this? This is 11.49. Uh, so it's probably, I think the it's probably the, the, the more expensive. The, the, when he's done, the last 335 he did, which I think was just under a thousand pounds, had the Epiphone pickups on it. So I think a little bit dearer, but you've got the Gibson pickups on it now. Uh, and a nice yes, case. Very limited edition as well. I think nice it's cool, case. Man. It's very, very cool. I think it's very cool. I really, really like this. I think I think yes. I'm seeing some uh, you know some Murphy Labs. Any, anything with an engraved kind of tailpiece on it, I always think looks super. Yeah, super we can cool. probably have engraved anything we like on here. Yeah. So yes, we'll engrave anything you like on yeah. there, Pete. Um, yeah, please. So next guitar. An eggplant. That's so that's that one. Okay, am I, said, I doing this uh, as well? Then? These are in stock now, and when what we've got has run out, uh, there's no more. Now, excuse me. <laughs> who knew? Whilst Pete plugs this in, I just thought. Do I'm going to um, type in Tony Iommi monkey just to see what era of, you know, the, the Tony Iommi Sabbath kind of vibe was on. Because I always must admit, whenever I've seen him playing, I always thought it was just like a, an SG standard kind of vibe with his sort of cross inlays on it. And all yeah. That. Anyway, what do you think the, the top listing for Tony Iommi monkey is in Google? I mean, you'll never, ever, ever in a minute. You can play along without cheating. The top listing for Tony Iommi yeah, Monkey. You, both of you, Oz and Pete, what do you think the top listing for Tony Iommi Monkey is? I will, and I will it's give like you a, a costume on... on it, it is something. It is a Tony Iommi endorsed product. But what do you think it is? What, is, it like, is it like monkey costume? A monkey costume? Oz, you going... I have no idea. Well, come on, guess. It's the... On Amazon. A monkey costume on Amazon. Yeah. Sure. Oz studies... Right. It is a fragrance. Who would, who would want to smell like Tony Iommi's monkey? Oh but basically, it is a, it is a fragrance wow. okay. by, I can't even pronounce the, the, the oh, is this a wind up? I mean, it almost looks like Jerkoff is the uh, name of the <laughs> fragrance, but it's X-E-R-J-O-F-F, Zerjoff. -F. But, it, but it blends, apparently, uh, it's, it's, it's the rock edition sees Black Sabbath's legendary guitar player, Tony Iommi, Unify his monolithic riffs with Zhirkov's presumably n not monkey smelling. Wow. Um, but there you go, I didn't realize that. Wow. So, anyway, let's. <laughs> heavens above. So, there you go. <laughs> more than that we get copyright strikes ah uh, there we go so now we're going to talk about the tony aomi um monkey monkey uh from what i understand this is a this first was reissued by the custom shop i think in maybe 2019 2020 something like that and it was a very limited edition run of 50 guitars and it's based on tony's sort of quite heavily modified 1964 SG. Yeah. So uh, now it's in the Epiphone catalogue. So that's awesome. way, way, way more available and affordable than the custom shop one would have been. With Epiphone Pro P90s on it, this sort of wrap around, quite unusual tailpiece really. It's yeah, like yeah. a, it's a wrap around tailpiece that you can still adjust, adjust the intonation of each yeah. string and the overall positioning of the bridge, which is kind of funky. Uh, and the strap button. So it's a, it's the strap button is now on the sort of the. But the that's top so horn. it's more balanced because these tend yes, to be quite substantially more balanced. If you have it here. Yeah. And then that's, saw some guys talking about that on. Yeah. So let's just get Instagram. a few. I mean, we're we're, yeah, we're plugged into. We've just kept the same 
rig as we had before, so the, the guitar amp is very clean and all the distortion is coming from pedals. So it's not, you know, not quite as it's authentic not as, I, Ioni, I, I only it? but it want. gives you an idea. I also still have all my fingers, um, so... Yes, this is true. So this there's a the difference there. What uh, is the fretboard on these here? Because I was wondering... Are Pretty they, sure are we're they still all laurel? laurel, but let's have a little okay. look. Yes, indeed, Indian okay. laurel, only the finest laurel. Um, only the so finest. So it's a two-piece mahogany body yeah. with a one-piece mahogany neck in, uh, in a Tony Iommi... Uh, signature calf profile they call it the rounded Iomi C sounds like a, an enormous body of water uh, in the middle of the <laughs> middle of Africa or something like that the Iomi C the Iomi C um, 22 frets uh, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah wraparound tailpiece as we said uh, Grover Rotomatic tuners yeah, I love uh, those. They're cool top awesome. hat knobs oh and also as well we better uh, do a sweep of this um, Nice, nice card case. shell with Tony's monkey sticker, apparently included in the case. Whatever, sticky a, monkey. whatever a sticky monkey. Yeah, Tony's sticky monkey. So included. you can put that on the body. I still think they, they missed a trick here. Should have given away bottles of Tony Iommi's jerk off um, monkey perfume. Wow. Let's just get Who some, knew? Get Let's some do some time. tone. I know people aren't going to play that stuff, are they, on this guitar? Is there any other famous rock guitar player with their own line of aftershave? I mean, I know um, Johnny Depp has sausage. No, but he's, it's, he's, it's not his signature sausage. <laughs> no, it he's doesn't just smell in like the his sausage. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to go around smelling like another I, man's sausage, do you? I don't, I don't know. I want to smell like a smelly rock star, full stop, do I? But um, well, I'm, your, your I'm, wife, just, I'm your still wife amazed. Does. I'm still amazed. Anyway. That's the middle position. There's just something about an it's SG. Quite, it's quite quirky and bright sounding. You know, you don't often hear SGs without full humbuckers on them, do you? Yeah, they do. They do P90. I know they do specials and stuff, but n more commonly you hear them with yeah, with humbuckers. Yeah. But I like a P90 because it's good with a bit of gain, you know. Good sound. That's just a Dane into the DB40. Do you know what I like about well. both these guitars as well? What? Is the artist hasn't had their name kind of splashed on the front. The only thing. No, no, yeah. yeah, so yeah it's the front, like, it's, you that, can yeah. gig this guitar or this one and no one's going to go, oh, look, it's just a Joe Bonamassa, Tony Iommi fanboy. I can smell him from here. It's just, <laughs> it's just a guitar. It looks... <laughs> And guess what as well? We are about to make five to ten percent of the entire world very, very happy. Because left-handed versions are available. And too. they should be in this. They one, should be, they? of yeah. course, for Tony Iommi's yeah. signature guitar. It would I imagine how bad that would be. <laughs> we've made you a signature guitar, Tony. You can't play it, obviously, but we've made you one anyway. No, yeah, so left-handed one's available too. Okay, let's try what do you want to fuzz? <laughs> on top of that it's just crazy <laughs> A 
på some gain stuff. What pickups are these? Are they American or no, are they just... Uh, are they Epiphone Pro P90s? Good, Hands good off. sound. Right, anyway, so that's that. That is eight ninety nine, regardless of whether you want to go left or right-handed. Left um, or right, so, left or right. Lastly, and again, we've done videos on this before earlier in the year. Um, we This is the uh, Epiphone 1959 um, reissue Les Paul. Uh, makes a little bit different to a, an Epiphone Les Paul standard in that Things like the neck carve and stuff like that are based on the 59, but more importantly, it has Gibson uh, pickups in it, mm -hmm. and it has this sort of um, VOS style worn finish. Mm -hmm. Super, super, super popular in um, like a, a, a tobacco burst and a heritage cherry sunburst, which were the two original burst colors that uh, Gibson launched yeah, yeah. back in the late 50s. Um, my personal favorite Les Paul color is this sort of faded lemon burst. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the kind of color that, that a lot of those old guitars went when they were left in the like light. Like beast. So I asked Gibson back at the beginning of, of when the 59 came out, could we do a limited run of lemon burst ones just for Andertons? And they said, yes, like the man from, what was the advert? The man from Del, Del Monte. Monte. He said, yes. <laughs> taste in our juice does he um well he did in this case uh so we had the first batch of these at the beginning of 2021 and they uh -huh. were like mm, gone uh and we've had to wait like six months for the second batch to come in but i believe they're due in in october 2020 yeah what year are we in 22 2022 so they're this october uh and this is great <laughs> um and you know what you do when like life hits you uh hands you lemons you, you make, make lemon burst yes <laughs> I won't play too long on this. Again, there's a video up there of uh, us doing the proper demo of this. I believe, this is exciting, uh, Gibson have got a couple of artists lined up to send down and help uh, do some I demos heard something on these guitars about that, yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so a nice kind of light bluesy drive. He's, no, he's no, not no. one of them, no. <laughs> was my multi-key cliched Yeah, blues. but that's what we all do, um, man. We're just multi-keying <laughs> around, you know. And then with uh, double stacked overdrive. is uh good question that is the carbon, carbon. The, the brown amplification yeah, carbon yeah yeah and a thorpey gunshot oh really it's carbon into the gunshot for a uh, very lightweight uh bullet boulet yes a, a carbon fiber boulet would that work i don't know well it probably would make love not war everybody um even if it hurts uh, i've been the captain I've been Dave's Pete. And this has been Anderson's <laughs> TV. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.